I want to play an instrument, so he bought a sax for me, and he bought a keyboard for my sister. But very soon, I started playing both. What I know about sax is that you have to be calm when playing it, and you don't rush. <laughs> I started playing sax at the age of six. My grandfather bought these sax at the age of six for me. I started playing it, and now I can play. I thank my grandfather. I'm happy to be here with them. I started off with your sax. When he visited me when I was uh, the Nigerian High Commissioner in Uganda, Wanting something to, for him to fill his time as a young man, I bought him a sax. As the days went by, I found out that he was very good at it. So when her sister also got to the year, was five years old, I also bought her one and she's uh, doing very well with it also. So they are now my sax grandchildren. I'm happy to be here on the opening of this studio for them, because the studio will assist them in their growth into the music world. No, do not choose career for children. They will choose it for themselves. I expose them to all types of things. You don't know which ones they might like. For example, the two of them are taking karate lessons now. They might be very proficient in uh, karate until they can get whether they call it a, a, a black belt or yellow belt or whatsoever. So the thing is that children are children, expose them to as many things as you can. As they grow up, they on their own will decide which one they prefer. Nya Sachs is my first baby and I'm grateful to God. I have seen him grow in wisdom, I've seen him grow in status. Yasas happened to have this passion right from when he was five 
with the help of his grandpa. I realized when he was quite young, as five, anytime you are getting him a toy, he will always want an, a musical instrument. Maybe a keyboard that is a toy keyboard, a toy uh, guitar, a toy saxophone. That's when we realized that he really has a passion for music since he's always playing around with toys and uh, instruments. And by five plus, the grandpa was able to get him a sax at that age. And I saw he had this passion. He didn't only, he didn't only wanted to play sax, he asked for keyboard. Then I realized from keyboard he was trying some other instrument like violin. And today we are coming out here to celebrate him with a little mini studio that we have. I'm praying for God to take him to higher level in his life. I happen to be in your sax, sax tutor. I actually groomed him and when he was at the tender and his passion and decision for learning and how to play the saxophone actually got me into a mode of teaching him and also expressing my innermost passion to make sure he achieves all that he wishes to. It is a special day, the day the Lord has made. It was destined to be like this. I will recall that when my grandson was born, he was born with some challenge, health challenge. And um, we call him a miracle child because the doctors had given up on him. But to God be the glory. Today he can blow the trumpet. Watch him grow to love the trumpet right from Kampala when they came on holidays. We used to worship at Apostolic Christ Church. So each time we're in service, our pastor was very fond of blowing the trumpet. He would go and stand by the pastor and watch what, was, what the pastor was doing. So from there, the pastor had to inform the grandpa that this boy loves trum trumpets and that he should buy him one. So grandpa decided to buy him one. He came back home and was so interested in learning how to play the trumpet. Today, with a lot of perseverance, a lot of passions and interests, he's doing very well and he has gone this far. My prayer is that God should make him, with what he's doing now, go around Nigeria and the world. We are happy today, we're coming to celebrate his, the launching of his studio. I think today is an extraordinary day. We've all come out in hundreds to catapult him to the wall. We believe he has a lot to showcase for the wall. That's why we have come together to grace this occasion. We are, everybody is excited about him. He's a young man that has diverse musical talents. And to an extent, we, he could be explained as a musical genius. This is a very beautiful innovation. Um, this is a long holiday for the kids and it's also a career making project. So when we see this kind of project that from kindergarten we are encouraging our kids to go into vocations like this and vocations that can really make the children have a sense of belonging in the future. We really encourage it in our states and um, in our communities. So at this point of our stage in life, what the parents have done and the grandparents have done is to mold a child that we expect to be a star in the future. Yes, is a grandson from Odupane. I must confess that what the grandparents and the parents are doing is the best. And it's very rare this way. You see most of these things happening in the States, where parents encourage their kids from small to the musical world. But wow, seeing it here is a thing of joy. That's why I came all the way. So I spent everything I had to do to be part of this. I must applaud in your sex for putting his best in all this doing.